Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you for the September 2020 polish pickup. The theme of the month is All Hallows Eve, and the shop will open for pre-order September 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will run through September 7th. Everything that you see here is a pre-order, and items will begin shipping approximately three weeks after the pre-order window closes on September 7th. I might say that some of these items that I have to show you today have a cap, and all that means is that there are a limited number of bottles available. So if an item that you want is capped, be sure to go to the Polish Pickup website at 11 a.m. when they open on September 4th and grab those first because capped items do tend to sell out incredibly fast. I, I have approximately 25 items to share with you today, so why don't we go ahead and jump right into it. The first polish that we're going to have a look at today is from by Danny Viana, and this is Sawin. This is going to sell for $12. It comes in an 11 milliliter bottle. There are 280 bottles available in the U.S. and 20 in the U.K. It was inspired by the history behind the Sawin Demon from Supernatural. It's described as an orange brownish with aurora pigment. This polish had a fantastic formula. It went on so smoothly and so evenly. It's self-leveled, it was just a joy to work with. I did use two coats to achieve full opacity and the second coat did deepen the color quite a bit. I did not have any application issues with this. There was no running, no pooling, and there was no staining. This polish will not dry textured and it will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. So my swatches of Sawin are showing you two coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is also from by Danny Viana, and this is an effect topper. It's a thermal. It's called Traveling Witches. It's going to sell for $11.50. The same cap applies to this too. There are 280 available in the U.S. and 20 in the U.K. It comes in an 11 milliliter bottle, and it was inspired by glittering broom pitchers. This is a thermal topper, which goes from clear when warm to black when cold, with microflakes in purple, copper, and peridot. This is such a fun topper, it's so versatile. I knew other people were just swatching it on its own and since my nails are like yellow underneath, I decided to go for the fun hidden stamping to show just how versatile this polish is. So I did a white base, I stamped on some black witches, which were flying on their broomsticks, which I kind of like to go with it. And then I topped it off with one thick coat of this. And then when it's black, it, when it's cold, it's black. And you don't really see the witches. You can see them a little bit, but you don't really, really have to look. And um, then when it's warm, you've got all these beautiful little flakes, and it really just adds to the whole, like, topper. It's really a cool, I love the black thermal toppers. And this one was very easy to work with. It had a fantastic formula. It will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove, and it's not going to dry textured on you, although it does dry kind of, like, waxy or dull, so I definitely would recommend a glossy top coat just to seal it up when you're done but that was one coat of Traveling Witches Topper over a white base with some hidden stamping from by Danny Viana. This next polish is from by Vanessa Molina, and this is called Spooky. It's gonna sell for $13. Comes in a 10 milliliter bottle. There are 300 available in the US and 20 in the UK. This was inspired by a Halloween image of a ghost. It is described as a yellow jelly base with a giant load of UCC flakies. This polish works well as a topper or on its own in three coats. It had a wonderful formula. It was so smooth and easy to work with. The flakes lie nice and dispersed. That's why I do feel that wearing it on its own is definitely viable. And it was very easy to work with. It uh, was opaque creamy in three coats. I had no running, no pooling. Um, I didn't wear it very long, so I can't comment on the staining. I only wore it for the swatch, and then I used it as a topper over black. Um, this will not be difficult for you to remove, and it doesn't dry textured. Um, but when you use it over a color at, when you use it over like a different color as a topper, then be aware that there is a little bit of that yellow jelly base that will alter the color of your cream polish. So just, um, be mindful of that because when I put it over a, um, gray, it made it this beautiful, like, sage color. It was absolutely gorgeous, but the, I went with the blue, um, the black base just to, you know, really show how it looks on its own. So that was three coats of Spooky from by Vanessa Molina on its own, and then uh, one coat over a black cream. 
This next polish is a base coat, which is also available from by Vanessa Molina. It's going to sell for $10.50. There are 300 available. It um, helps to recover the nail structure and avoid breakage. I didn't test out its longevity or how well it performed with my nails. I haven't had it that long, but I did notice and really like how smooth it made the nail bed. Um, I definitely think this is a great base coat for um, smoothing out your nails to use under any kind of polish. It's um, definitely, I did like it um, so far, and I will def I definitely put it on my desk to use for the future. This next polish is from Cupcake Polish, and it's called How Do You Like Me Out? It's going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there is no cap. It was inspired by black cats. It is a black, one coat, linear holographic nail polish that can be used alone for a manicure or as a stamping polish that was inspired by a black cat. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It's exactly where I put it. I had no application issues. You are seeing some pooling on my nail right now, but that is just because this has a cupcake polish has a really long brush. So if you're not careful and you you know you have a full bottle, some of this stuff will stay at the top of the brush and then run down the like stick of the brush. So you just have to be mindful of that when you're applying your polish so that way that little drop doesn't run down and pool onto your nail like you saw it do for me. But this was opaque in one coat. It is super holographic. It had a wonderful formula, no staining, and it is not going to be difficult to remove. It was very easy to work with, and it is so holographic and beautiful. This was so much fun in the sunlight, and honestly, I thought it was even holographic and re regular light in my living room. There you have it. This next polish is from Cuticula, and it is called Nightmare Moon. It's going to sell for $12.50. comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. There is no cap. This was inspired by Princess Luna from My Little Pony, and Nightmare Moon is described as a burgundy plum base with purple metallic flakes, various shifting iridescent flakes, blue shimmer, green sparks, and platinum silver flakies. This polish had an excellent formula. It goes on really smoothly and evenly. It did not give me any kind of application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling, and I had no staining. This polish does also look wonderful over black. You can use a black cream base and then put one coat over it and it looks phenomenal. I do not have that for you here, but you can definitely see pictures of that in the cuticular group. I only used two coats to achieve full opacity. Nothing in here dries textured and nothing in here will be difficult for you to remove. So here you have two coats of Nightmare Moon by Cuticula with a glossy top coat. This next product is also from Cuticula. This is for the Indie Pickup and this is their confection duo. It's going to sell for $13 and the scents were inspired by fall. The jars are half ounces. And there are two scents. So the first is Poison Apple, which is described as a sweet, juicy apple with a hint of spice and slightly bubbly effervescence. The second scent is Campfire Delights, which is described as a luscious top note of berry jelly and sweet buttercream, middle notes of dark chocolate, fluffy marshmallows, cinnamon, and graham cracker, with yummy bottom notes of tonka bean vanilla cream. These smell wonderful. The Poison Apple um, does smell like apples, and it has a the hint of spice which definitely does come apparent um and the campfire delights i definitely smell the chocolate and the marshmallows above everything else those are what hits my nose but the other little things are definitely mixed in and blended to make a really really lovely smell um the campfire delights is definitely my favorite of the two and i have already used quite a bit of my jar so all you have to do with confection is it's a moisturizing cream. It isn't greasy, which I absolutely love. You just apply a little bit like you saw me do in the video to your nail and you just rub it in and it absorbs really nicely. And then it leaves your hands. I honestly use it as a lotion. So I, um, I love the way, like sometimes my hands feel hot and like tight, especially like after I get out of the shower and I love to just take the confection and I put a little dab like the size of like maybe a dime into my, the palm of my hand and then I just do it all over my hands and it really makes my hands feel so much better. Like it just takes away that feeling 
and it's really moisturizing and I don't ever worry about touching my clothes and getting them greasy. Confection really is a wonderful moisturizer and I have one right over there. I have one by my bed. I have them on my desk. Really um, highly recommend the Confection. Next up is from Dollish Polish and this is It's Spoopy Time. It's going to sell for $12.50. It was inspired by a vintage Halloween print. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there's no cap. It is described as a vibrant pumpkin orange with aurora color shifting shimmer and it is packed with black microflakes and shreds. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling, there was no staining. The black shreds and the flakes do come out of the bottle really easily. I didn't have to do anything. This polish sat for maybe a week before I was able to swatch it. And as you can see, everything just came out of the bottle and gave a nice even distribution of flakes. The black shreds may dry a little bit textured, so you are gonna wanna go in and seal it up with a good glossy top coat to get a nice shiny glassy finish. This might give you a teeny tiny bit of difficulty to remove, but it's nothing crazy. Just, um, I just used maybe a smidgen more pressure and it was right off. So it's definitely easy enough to remove. My swatches here of It's Spoopy Time from Dollish Polish um, with a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Ethereal Lacquer and it's called What's Your Favorite Scary Movie? It's going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This was inspired by Scream, which is my absolute favorite movie probably ever, not just horror movie, ever. So I was very happy I was able to swatch this and see it available. It is described as a smoky plum gray base with blazing red copper, gold to green shifting multi-chrome shimmer, and holographic microflakes. This polish had an excellent formula and if you had a heavier hand you could probably have it opaque for you in just one coat, but I work in thinner coats so I did go in for two. This is not going to dry textured and it is not going to give you any kind of difficulty to remove whatsoever. The formula was absolutely a pleasure to work with and the holographic effect in here is blinding. It is so, so like beautiful. If you got her polish from last month, you already know what I'm talking about. So I, if you love holographic polishes, this is definitely for you. It is so gorgeous. And it's even holographic when you're sitting around your house. Like this is just so gorgeous. Um, the removal may be a tad messy because there's a lot of holographic flakes in there, but it's not difficult at all. So my swatches are gonna show you what's your scary movie, what's your favorite scary movie by Ethereal Lacquer in two coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Flirtin, and this is called Polka Face Pumpkin. It's gonna sell for $11.50. This comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. There will be 75 bottles available in the US and five in the UK. It was inspired by Polka Dot Halloween Pumpkins and it is described as a mix and match of different sizes and styles of neon and hollow glitters to create a hollow grouping design. And it is a yellow crelly that glows in the dark. I unfortunately did not know this until after I had sent in my swatches, so I do not have an example of it glowing in the dark, but you can check out the Polish Pickup website and see a photo of it there. The formula on this was absolutely excellent. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues. I did choose to go in, as you just saw me do, and do some hand placement of the glitter because I just wanted a few more, but that's just personal preference because I'm like a control freak and I wanted this to look a certain way. So I just chose to go in and grab a couple of extra glitters. Um, this is a glitter, so it will dry a bit textured and it will be a little bit more difficult to remove. You are going to see me use a product that we are going to discuss a little bit later, but it is made to work with glitter polishes, so I thought this would be a perfect one to test it on. So my swatches of Flirtin's Polka Face Pumpkin is showing you three coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish that we're going to look at is from Glisten and Glow, and this is Monster Mash. It's going to sell for $12.50. Come in a 15 milliliter bottle. There will be 330 bottles available in the U.S. and 15 in the U.K. This was inspired by the song Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett in 1962. It is described as a vampy, deep, purple polish that's loaded with vibrant and glowing copper shimmer. 
This also looks beautiful with a matte top coat, which you're going to see at the end. This polish had an absolutely excellent formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling, and I had no staining. This polish will not dry textured, and it will not be difficult for you to remove. That shimmer absolutely just pops off of this dark colored base and this polish is just so perfect for fall and winter and if you're a vampy type of polish lover really any time of the year so my swatches of monster mash by glistening glow are showing you two coats and a glossy top coat and then i'm going to follow it up with pictures of it with a matte top coat product is a duo from Glisten and Glow and this is their Glitter Grabber Tom Duo. It's going to sell for $13 and both of, there are two bottles of top coat that come in 15 milliliter bottles. These are capped and there are 155 available in the US and 10 in the UK. So what this Glitter Grabber Duo does is the first polish that you're going to use is the more like matte top coat looking one and it basically goes and when you apply it, it kind of fills in all those nooks and crannies of a glitter or a flaky dense balm type polish. So it goes in and it creates a level ground for your glossy top coat. So once the first um, part of this duo is applied for it to dry and then you apply Glisten and Glow's glossy quick dry top coat and it will create like your regular glassy type finish without having to use like three you know two or three um coats of a glossy top coat and then you still see some texture um this one you won't have that this will create a glassy like finish just using the duo and i took my most flaky bomb or my most glittery polish that i have and i demonstrated it for you so you can actually see what it looks like with one coat of just a regular um, glistening glow top coat and then with the glitter grabber applied how glossy and shiny that it looks. I actually found when I tested this that it worked better than the Jealous. I know that a lot of people will recommend using Jealous and then a regular top coat and creating this effect but I have found in my tests that this was actually glossier. So. I love a glassy finish so for me this was fantastic and this definitely just went right on my desk for a permanent like spot. This next polish is from Great Lakes Lacquer and this is called The Deadlights. This is going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This was inspired by Stephen King's It. The polish is described as a glowing orange that's filled with iridescent flakes that reflect pink, purple, red, orange, and gold. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on smoothly and evenly, it's exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling, and I had no staining. This polish will not dry textured or be difficult to remove. However, it does dry a bit dull, so you are going to want to go in with a nice glossy top coat to give it that glassy kind of look. This polish is very shifty and you can go through, for me, the orange and the red and the gold were the strongest, but if you, you know, move around your house, you'll definitely get the others. This polish is absolutely beautiful. So my swatches are showing you three coats of Great Lakes Lacquer, the Deadlights, and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Jayreen, and this is Land of the Lost. It's going to sell for $13, comes in a 16 milliliter bottle, and there is no cap. This was inspired by Marie Lavu, Le Le and it is described as a swampy green base with a vibrant red to gold to green shift. This polish had a phenomenal formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever, there was no running, there was no pooling, and there was no staining. I did wear this for over a day, and this green polish did not stain me, and I wasn't wearing a base coat, but just in case to, you know, go on the safe side, I would always recommend a base coat just to protect. So my swatches of this polish are showing you three coats and a glossy top coat. I used Jayreen's own glossy top coat to seal this up and make it nice and shiny.
Next up is from Jayreen as well, and this is their contribution to the Indie Pickup, and this is their Pixie Magic Kit in the Pigment Haunted. This is going to sell for $15, and it does not have a cap, and it is described as having a sparkling shift from green to gold to blue. I chose to swatch this over a um, brown polish because I uh, it was really my favorite in the shifts. I tried a whole bunch of different colors, and this looks great over light colors as well, but this brown really blew me away with um, just how shifty it was. It's very, very beautiful. The Pixie Magic Kit is very easy to work with. It isn't like most other powdered pigments. This, you can use regular polish, you can use a regular top coat. So what you do is you paint your nails just like you normally would. You use your base coat, you use your color, and then you seal it up with a glossy top coat. Your regular glossy top coat. I use Jareen's, and, um, but I've also used Kichikula's, I've used Glistening Glows, I've used them all, and uh, you know, the same effect is fine. So once it is dry, you apply that super base coat which comes in the kit. And then once, you give that about 45 seconds, and then once that is tacky, you will go in and you will apply the pigment to either your finger or this applicator brush that also comes with the kit, and then you will burnish it onto your nails. And you just do what I'm doing here in this video, you just burnish it on, make sure you get the sidewalls and the tip just for a nice uniform finish. And then you apply your regular glossy top coat again and you are all done. You need no special products. Um, the, the kit comes with its own base coat, so you don't even have to worry about if you don't have a sticky base coat on hand, because it's what it is. It's just a super sticky base coat. And um, it is a little bit messy, so I would recommend either you know cleaning your hands with like a baby wipe or just using the um, liquid latex just to aid in cleaning up after. But it is easy to remove, and it is so shifty and so beautiful. Next up is from Kathleen & Co, and this is called Under a Haunted Moon. It's going to sell for $12.50, come in a 15 milliliter bottle. This is capped at 425 bottles in the U.S. and 25 in the U.K. This was inspired by a cartoon haunted house under big glowy moon. It is described as a neon purple jelly base that's loaded with color shifting aurora shimmer and matching color shifting iridescent flakes. This polish had a fantastic formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly, it stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever, there was no running, no pooling, and there was no staining. There are a ton of flakies in here, so you are going to want to go in with a nice glossy top coat to make it nice and glassy and shiny and just finish off the look, but it is not going to be difficult for you to remove at all. So my swatches of this are showing you three coats of Under a Haunted Moon from Kathleen & Co. and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Lollipop Posse Lacquer, and this is Shivering Down Your Spine. This is going to sell for $13, comes in a 12 milliliter bottle. There will be 490 bottles available in the U.S. and 10 in the U.K. This was inspired by the classic Halloween tune, Spooky Scary Skeletons, and a picture of spooky floating pumpkins. It is described as an electric blue Crelly that is absolutely packed with pink and purple color shifting iridescent flakes. This polish had a phenomenal formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, there was no pooling, and I had no staining. This polish will not dry textured, and it will not be difficult for you to remove, but there are a lot of flakies in there, so you are going to want to go in again with a nice glossy top coat and finish it off and make it nice and glossy. The shift on this polish is just absolutely beautiful. You know, I love blues, and with the pink flake shimmer, it is just absolutely a knockout. I definitely highly recommend this. It is gorgeous. So my swatches of Lollipop Posse Lacquers shivering down your spine are showing you three coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Lin B Designs and it's called Ghost Frequency. This will sell for $12. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. There will be 250 bottles available in the US and 20 in the UK. This was inspired by the 19 hertz infrasound that is meant to make you see ghosts. 
It is described as a black based green to purple shifting shimmer with green to copper to gold shifting UCC flakies and a scattered hollow micro flakies. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had absolutely no application issues such as running, pooling, or staining. This polish will not dry textured and it will not be difficult for you to remove. My swatches of Linby Designs Ghost Frequency is showing you three coats and a glossy top coat. This next pop, this next item is an oil, and it is from Matterhorn. It is called Spellbook. It's going to sell for eleven dollars, and it comes in a one ounce glass jar container. It can be used on hair, your skin, or your beard. Its fragrance is a blend of plum, amber, suede, cauldron smoke, vanilla, cashmere, and a hint of cotton candy. It has a Definitely, I did feel that this was a little bit of a manlier scent, but it wasn't like something that I would feel is too masculine, if that's even a thing people worry about. It was a very pleasant scent, but it is a little bit on the stronger side. So if you are somebody who likes light scent, like light scents, this one does have a little bit of a heavier scent, and it does linger a little bit. So all I do is, you know, just apply it how I would any oil. I just dab a little bit, and that one dab you saw did all four of my nails, so a little bit goes a long way. When I first got this, people said that, um, you know, you could use it in your hair, so I did. And I went and, did you see the dropper that I showed you at the beginning of the video? I took an entire dropper of this, and I put it in my, the palm of my hand, and I put it on my hair, because I'd never used anything like this before. So I rubbed it into my hair and I blew it dry and I'm sitting there and I'm wondering why does my hair still feel wet after like 15 minutes of blow drying when it usually takes me about 10. And I realized when I turned it off and went to brush my hair that it was the oil. I had used entirely too much of the oil. So, you know, just be aware that a little bit goes a long way. Um, now all I do is I take about four drops and I um, do this, you know, I rub it into my hands and then I just you know run it through my hair and then I blow my hair dry so a little bit is all you need it makes your hair nice and smooth I also use this on my legs after I shave and it really gives your legs a nice soft feeling definitely uh, this is my one of my favorite oils ever I absolutely love the Matterhorn oil it absorbs very quickly sorry my battery died so forgive me if I repeat myself because I don't know where I, it died and I left off but Matterhorn really is one of my favorite oils. A little bit goes a long way and it, it doesn't, it sinks into your skin really fast so you don't, aren't left with that greasy feeling. Definitely one of my top three favorite oils ever. So the next item that we are gonna look for, look at, is from MLF Lacquer and this is called Trick or Treat. It's gonna sell for $11, comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. There will be 190 available in the US and 10 in the UK. This was inspired by Halloween decorations. It is described as a white curly base with orange and purple holographic glitters, matte neon green glitters, black shredded holographic glitter, and silver holographic micro glitters. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. There is a lot going on, but it does not get in its own way. It applies very smoothly and very evenly. Across your nail, you get a good mix of the glitter on your brush and on your nail when you swipe it across your nails you're not going to have to do any kind of manipulation i felt and i'm very very anal with manipulation and i didn't feel compelled to do anything this polish um, is a glitter so it is going to dry textured and it is going to be on the difficult side to remove my swatches of mlf lacquer's trick or treat are showing you three coats and a glossy top coat
This next polish is from Moonbow, and this is Goodbye Wax. This is a wax product. It's going to sell for $10. There is no cap. It is four ounces, and it is inspired by a Ouija board. It is a planchette-shaped wax melt in a deep plum shade with hand-painted and body-safe multigrown pigment with a haunting fragrance blend of plum, warm, cozy cashmere, intriguing black amber, buttery vanilla, orange peel, a touch of absinthe, and currant. This is a perfect fall scent. Again, it had a little bit, I thought, of that masculine scent that the oil had. Um, this is absolutely beautiful, and I could not bring myself to cut this. I'm sorry that I don't have a picture of it in, you know, the wax thing all melty. I, I couldn't do that. That is absolutely stunning, and it's probably going to sit on my shelf for some time before I can bring myself to melt it. The scent is very pleasing, and I do want to melt it to smell it, but I don't want to ruin that. So I might actually pick up a second one from Polish Pickup just so I can keep one and melt one. But this next polish is from Pampered Polishes, and this is a thermal polish, and it's called What Nightmares Are Made Of. It's going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there's no cap. This was inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is described as a clear when warm to charcoal when cold thermal with, with pink and gold ultrachrome chameleon flakes and holographic micro glitter. This polish had an absolutely excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. I did choose to swatch it over a little bit of a milky base coat because my nails are stained and I didn't want that to be reflected in the polish. Um, I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pulling, there was no staining. This polish does not dry textured and it will not be difficult for you to remove. This polish is highly reactive, the thermal, and it is so fun. I absolutely adore those tiny flakes in there, and this is definitely... I'm not really a thermal person anymore, but I absolutely love this one, and I wore it for a few days just because I absolutely love the whole of it. So that was three coats of Pampered Polishes What Nightmares Are Made Of and a Glossy Top Coat. Next up is from Penelope Luz, and this is called Moon Spells. It's going to sell for $13, come in a 10 milliliter bottle, and there's no cap. This was inspired by Moon Spells in Halloween Night, and it is described as a dark blue base with iridescent flakes of purple, turquoise, and orange. It has some glitters to add to the sparkle. This polish is absolutely beautiful. It's had a spectacular formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues such as running, pooling, or staining. This polish does start off a bit sheer, but it does build to full opacity in just three coats. Nothing in this polish is going to dry textured, and nothing in this polish was difficult for me to remove. So my swatches are going to show you three coats of Penelope Lou's Moon Spells and a glossy top coat, and then I am following it up with a matte top coat. Also, I did want to say that I'm not sure if you've noticed, but sometimes I'm putting in two swatch pictures um, and then the macro at the end of the swatch video. One is how it's taken in my normal lights, and then I got a light box, and I really like the way the light box will show the flakes and the, the different um, like dimensions of the flakes. So I've just been throwing in that extra photo of how it looks under diffused lighting. This next product is also from Penelope Luz, and this is her Moisturizing Cuticle Cream. It's going to sell for $11. It was inspired by Halloween Magic Potions and prepared by witches. It is 20 grams, and it is a moisturizing cream for cuticles with high hydration power with tea tree and clove essential oils with true medicinal effect to prevent fungus and to strengthen your nails. Again, um, this I put on far too much here and I was able to use that one dollop that came out of the tube for all four of my nails. So again, a little bit on this goes a very long way. Um, I just applied it and I rubbed it into my nails. I really like this cream. Um, I do use it before bed. This is one of my favorite like thicker creams or it's become one of my favorite thicker creams that I use whenever my nails are naked before bed. I always make sure I apply it. And I also do like it when I'm swatching because it doesn't leave your nail, like your skin, with that shiny look. It has a matte type of finish, so like you don't even realize that you've just applied anything once you finish rubbing it in. So I'm just showing you how it rubs in. Um, 
a little bit because of my angle, you know, gets stuck on my sidewall, but, you know, if you're rubbing it in not facing away from you, you don't have to worry about that. It just rubs right in. So there you have um, Penelope Lou's Moisturizing Cuticle Cream. Next up is from Polished for Days, and this is Hitchhiking Ghosts. It's going to sell for $12.50, comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there is no cap. This was inspired by Hitchhiking Ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. It is described as a teal base with a glowy aqua to purple shifting iridescent microflake shimmer. This polish is absolutely beautiful, guys, like so beautiful. The formula is excellent. It goes on smoothly and evenly. It stays exactly where you put it. I had no application issues so ever, no running, no pooling. There was no staining with this. This will not dry textured and it will not be difficult to remove. You might think that this is going to have some brush strokes in it, but it, they all disappear when the polish dries, and it is just so vibrant and so shifty. The, the blue goes from this beautiful, like, bright, uh, I guess, aqua color that, you know, you're seeing here, and then when you're in, the, like, duller, dimmer light or indirect light, there's this beautiful glowing blue, and it is just so so beautiful. This polish is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it and this probably is my one of my top picks from this month, if not the top pick for the month. This next polish is from Red Eyed Lacquer and it is called The Gate. It's going to sell for $12.50. It was inspired by Stranger Things. It comes in an 11 milliliter bottle. There will be 200 bottles available in the US and 20 in the UK. This is a dark brown to red orange thermal with a gun metal microflakes and gold to green to yellow to red orange shifting flakes. This polish um, is a little bit more subtle of the thermal um, shifting properties, but it is absolutely so pretty. This is the like, to me, this is like the quintessential like fall polish. It's the thermal, which just to me signifies fall is coming because all the thermals come back out and the color of it is just so rich and like very like fall foliage type like uh it's just very pretty and i wore this for a couple days and one of them was overcast and it's just so pretty like pictures do not do this a lick of justice at all this polish is absolutely gorgeous so that was three coats of red eyed lacquers the gate and a glossy top coat Red Eyed Lacquer is also bringing a cuticle oil for Indie Pickup. This is going to sell for $5.50. It's called Full Breakfast. It is going to have 60 bottles available and it comes in a 5 milliliter roller ball. This was inspired by a full themed breakfast, which is a custom blend of blueberries and pumpkin pecan waffles. The thing that hits my nose first with this would be the pumpkin pecan waffles. The pumpkin, like, it's not like a spicy pumpkin because a lot of times when you say pumpkin, I think of like pumpkin spice, and I don't really like that. But this, this didn't have that little like spicy bit of it. This was really um, very like pleasant. If the description sounds appealing to you, I definitely think you will like this because I actually was pleasantly surprised because usually whenever I see pumpkin, I'm like, oh, and I'm disappointed, but I was not disappointed in this. The oil itself is wonderful. It dries pretty quick and sinks right into your skin and it's very hydrated. It gives you, it leaves your nails with a very hydrated feeling. So that was Red Eyed Lacquer's Cuticle Oil in the scent Full Breakfast. Next up is from Rogue Lacquer, and this is Something Strange. This is gonna sell for $12 and there is no cap. It comes in a 13 milliliter bottle. It was inspired by the new Ghostbusters. It is a vibrant neon green with bright blue metallic microflakes. This polish had a fantastic formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. Those flakies are abundant and do distribute over your nail nice and evenly. Nothing in this polish is going to dry textured and nothing in this polish is going to give you any kind of difficulty to remove. I did choose to go in for three coats to reach full opacity, although as you guys know, I do work in thinner coats. So you might be able to reach full opacity in two, but I have my swatches here in three and a glossy top coat. I will say that this polish is probably my absolute favorite for the month. I love those blue flakes in this green base. I was immediately obsessed with this polish. And it took me by surprise just because I'm not usually a green person, but this polish really blew me away. 
and it has a spectacular formula to boot. So that was Something Strange from Rogue Lacquer. The next polish that we're going to have a look at today is from Watcha, and this is Smiley Jack. This is going to sell for $13. There will be 200 bottles available in the US and 20 in the UK. This polish does not have a description on the Polish Pickup website, so I'm going to try my best, but I really stink at this, so I'm going to get stuff wrong. I'm sorry. It is like a brownish black base. I think it's a jelly base. There are flakes in there. There are definitely like holographic micro glitters in there. The flakes are shifty. This does have a bit of a green um, shift to it, which is definitely very beautiful. Um, it does have a great formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling. There was no staining. This, however, does dry a bit textured, and it will be a bit of a difficult time to remove, but it's not terrible. I did cheat a little bit and I used Watch's second contribution to the Indie Pickup to level out the texture in Smiley Jack. So you are seeing three coats of Smiley Jack, then their glitter leveling top coat along with a regular glossy top coat. The glitter leveling is just like I described on the other one that you apply it over your textured polish, whether it be a glitter bomb or a flaky bomb, you apply it and you wait for it to dry and it will fill in all those little nooks and crannies. And um, when it is, once it is dry, you apply your regular top coat and it will leave you with a nice glassy finish. This does the job very well and I highly recommend it. There will be 80 bottles of this top coat available in the United States and 20 in the UK and it will sell for $10. If you liked that glitter um, crelly that you saw at the end of the video, keep your eyes out for Hella Handmade Creations in September because it is from Vanessa Molina and you will see it in September's Hella Handmade Creations. And that wraps up this video. I hope you liked everything. I hope I wasn't too confusing. I hope I helped add a little bit of something to your wish list. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section down below. Also, tell me what your favorite is and let me know what you guys are getting from this month's polish pickup. I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from the polish pickup for 2020. The theme of the month is All Hallows Eve. The polish pickup will open for sale. The polish pickup will open for pre-order. Look at this guy. <laughs> the polish pickup will open for pre-order on September 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't with him.